Yeovil beat Torquay by two goals to nil as we get off and underway here at the Armco Arena. And it's Wrexham that are in possession. Toza collects, gives it to Elliot Lee. Pulling the strings in that Wrexham midfield. Sends Mullin away on the Wrexham right. Palmer making strides in the penalty box. And he comes towards Ollie Palmer now and it fizzes through. Palmer just couldn't quite get there at the near post. Mendy keeps it alive on the Wrexham left. Going for the byline, but the cross is blocked. And Mendy again lets it go out of play, and it'll be a, another corner to Wrexham, uh, already beginning to threaten. Good work down that right hand side from Mullin. Tried to find his strike partner, Palmer. Just behind him. So, corner to Wrexham. Again, plenty of height for the visiting side to aim at, aim for. And Solly Moore's everybody back again. Fizdins was a near post, he's glanced up and over. And goes out for a goal kick, but again, an ever present threat from Brexit from those kind of set pieces. And James Clark dispossesses him. He goes to make up, makes some progress for Solly Moore in the space towards his left hand side now as well. It could be a first chance of the game, and a really good save from Howard. Really good save from the Wrexham goalkeeper. And it was Donovan that got through. Some great work from Maycock in the Moors midfield to get Solihull Moors going. And Donovan's effort brought the best out of Mark Howard. Out towards Mendy. Turning it infield to Young. As Rexon move it right. Ford. Barnett in front of him for the Solomon Moores. In towards Elliot Lee now, right by a byline. Twisting and turning. He's able to stand up at the far post as well. It's ahead and it's the first goal of the game. Really good work on the right hand side from Elliot Lee. And it's Jordan Tunnicliffe at the far post who was unattended really. And he did everything right. Got all the power. Directed it downwards, and there was nothing that Ryan Booth could do to keep that out. And Wrexham have the lead as we just move past the 11 minute mark. And the away fans with something to celebrate in the early stages of the game. But initially, it was some really good work from Elliot Lee by the byline on the Wrexham right. Stood it up at the far post, and joined in Tony Cliff. Made no mistake from a yard out. He was twisting and turning, made room for the cross and Tony Cliff. Too much power on that for Boot to deal with, and Wrexham have the lead. But Toza stops him. Becky goes to Howard. Drills the ball forward into the chest of the lead. Done well to keep the pace off that. Tony Cliff into O'Connor. Tony Young. Now Tom O'Connor. Good ball forward to Elliot Lee. Palmer now. Lee takes a tumble. Only Palmer still in possession. Elliot Lee wins the 50-15. He's jinked and jived his way into the penalty box. And the ball's gone loose. Elliot Lee goes to ground and no penalty is the verdict. Palmer plays on. But the Moors are able to clear out towards Clark on their right. Clark waited too long there and bundled to the ground by Tony Cliff. And Jacob Mendy's gone down and might need a bit of treatment here. 18 minutes in and uh, looks like Mendy's got a problem with his left leg. Good movement into the penalty box from Lee there. There's also good defending from James Clark who got the challenge in. So Mullins dropped into midfield so the just a man light at the moment, Erexum. And Moore's trying to capitalise now. Into the penalty box they go. Barnett's waiting for the pullback, but it's Elliot Lee doing that makeshift defensive job who gets the ball away. Here comes Solihull Hull again out with Clark on their right. Teasing cross in, and it's another good save from Howard. Wonderful save from the Wrexham goalkeeper from Dallas who got the header in there. Mendy making a slow walk behind the goal in front of the Wrexham supporters. And we 
were just about to see. It's Callum McFazdean is coming on. So an enforced change on Phil Parkinson. Jacob Mendy off, McFadzine on. And another good save for Mark Howard amongst all of that. In comes the Moore's corner, deep one. Back towards the far side, and he's cutting it bottled in off the line. I think that time Howard was beaten, but his defenders around him helped keep that ball out. And Solihull Moores are putting Reston under some sort of pressure. Field to Kelly. Ball goes to Donoway. Moving it back right for Maycock to James Clark again. Clips the ball forward. Barnett the target and Barnett's got there first now. Could be another chance for Moore's closing in at half time and it's another save by Howard who parries it away and Hayden was fouled there in the follow up. Another save from Mark Howard. That's a hat trick in the first half for him. Three good efforts that he's managed to keep out. And it was Barnett with the turn and the run that time. Got behind the Wrexham defenders. Maybe the angle was working against Ryan Barnett. But Howard with the save. Powerful driving run into the penalty box. Uh, Tony Cliff, whose goal still separates these two sides. Fancy that for Tony Cliff again and then to Toza. Tony Cliff with some space to move forward into. Gives it to McFadzine. Ball's clip there was behind Palmer. Gudges there for Sonny Moore ahead of Mullin. Mm. And he got caught in possession there, Gudger. An expensive mistake, maybe. Thanks to Mullin. Mullin trying to bring out to his free. And Elliot Lee with the shot. It's a combination of bodies that threw themselves at it for the Moors to keep it out and go for a corner. Elliot Lee with a late chance. And done well to get power on it and keep it down. But it's out and behind for a corner. A mistake by Gudger initially. But it's Tony Cliff goal and separates them. And a few seconds left. As Hayden's clearance away, he lets it go over his head and out for a throw in to Wrexham. And that's it, says Adrian Quelch, the referee. Okay. The referee just waiting for a couple of ground staff towards his near side to vacate the field. Adrian Quelch, the referee, gets the second half off and underway. Wrexham attacking the end away towards our right hand side that houses their fans, and Palmer immediately evolved down that left hand side. It's Ryan Barnett going to clear away for the Moors, only as far as O'Connor. O'Connor sends it back again. James Clark is there for Sully Hall again. Tries a longer clearance that time. Reaches all the way up to Andrew Dallas. Sent away downfield from Boot. Straight back again. Mullin onto it, looking for Palmer. First glimpse, he's had a goal in the second half. Palmer goes for it, but straight at Boot. Referee happy with where the wall is. Coca or Kelly. Looks like Coca doesn't beat the wall though. Spins up and into the penalty box. Comes out to Donner though. Floats the ball into the far side. Still not properly clear. Kelly has it onto his left boot. Kelly with the shot and another save from Howard. Another good save. This time from Josh Kelly. He brought it down on his left boot. Got the power. And Howard needed to be alert there. With both hands on it to keep it out. Tony Cliff feeding Fadzine. Infield to Tom O'Connor. Closed down by Dallas. Ball's flicked forward again. That's neat defending from Maycock, who was well positioned. Gives it to Barnett and Clark, and then back to Boot. And Boot takes a touch there, and he's under pressure from Palmer, and he only just manages to get it away. What? Here's Ryan Boot taking a bit of an unnecessary risk. Could have cleared it first time. Palmer closing down on him. O'Connor with the delivery for Wrexham. And trying to put some pressure on the goalkeeper Ryan Boot there. And he comes to the far post. It's Donovan that gets first contact. A bit of a head and a miss there. Still not properly cleared. Tony Clips in there for Wrexham. Might come out to Toza. Toza with the shot, but that's going to block on from close quarters 
Otto O'Connor to float it in again. Dealt with by the Moors this time. And eventually it's the number nine, Andrew Dallas, back helping out that launches it clear. It's going to come back though. Ford for Tunnicliffe. Mullins in a bit of space. Mullins makes the move. He's forced wide. Paul Mullins with the cross. He's gone loose inside the penalty box. Palmer's onto it. No room for a shot though. And Jones brings it away for the Sullivan Moors. He's given it straight to Elliot Lee. Keeping the pressure on. Mullins again. Overlapping run from Young. Trying to pull it back for Mullin. Mullin into the far post. There are men spare there. Tony Cliff's one of them. No room for a shot again. Here's Elliot Lee weaving his way forward. And the cross is blocked and it's a corner to Wrexham. We're putting the pressure on. Good with the ball in his hands. Sends it away downfield. Palmer underneath it flicking on towards Mullin. And uh, how there this time was penalised by the referee for the challenge on Paul Mullin. Pleads his innocence, Callum Howe. But it's a free kick this time to Wrexham. An off decent position, about a yard outside of the Solihull penalty box. And Palmer with the initial flick on from the clearance away downfield. And then Mullin latched onto it. Or would have done. So Young or O'Connor. Referee still not quite happy where some of the defenders are. Blows the whistle now. It's O'Connor. And he swings it in. He's straight in. O'Connor turns and twirls his hand in the air in front of the Wrexham fans. Beautiful free kick from Tom O'Connor. The Moors defenders are still unhappy with the referee Adrian Quelch and are letting him know it as well. But it's all about the celebrations of Tom O'Connor and Wrexham. For the travelling side, beautiful free kick up and over the wall and beyond the grasping hands of Ryan Boot to give Wrexham a two-goal cushion that will feel quite luxurious for them at the moment because the Moors have asked them all sorts of questions. But it's the quality of O'Connor that has given them a two-goal lead now. O'Connor floating it into the Solihull Moors net. Wonderful placement, wonderful technique. And a half-decent celebration as well. 2-0 to Wrexham. Here's O'Connor. Beats the wall this time and also beats the bar by a yard or two. Here's Ryan Boot. Ball upfield to Cybulski, but it goes over his head. Rolls back towards Howard. Sends it forward to Gudger, who's gone from the same ball there, and it's fallen for Ollie Palmer now. And there's men arriving left and right. Palmer might not need any of them. Oh, a finger stinger, and he's come back out. Oh, Ryan Boot well placed. It was Luke Young there that the follow up. It was straight at the Sully Hole goalkeeper, though. And close to being number three there for Wrexham. But Palmer with the initial effort, and Ryan Boot struggled to get a hand on. His boots clearance away. Falls for Elliot Lee. And it broken now for the men in red. Is Barnett to come forward? Gets away from his teammate Kelly. Barnett again turns and goes. He crosses into the near post that dealt with by Toza. Sends it out for a throw into Solihull Moor. Here's Palmer's effort. Plenty of power on it. Comes out to Coker. The counter might be on here, and it's Palmer leading the charge. He's got men joining in. He's coming towards his right hand side, feeding Mullin now. Got Luke Young in the penalty box, Mullin going for the byline though, held up by Jones. Lays it back to Ford. And Solihull back in number. Ford onto his left boot. Comes back out to the right for Hayden, who's arriving to join in. Floaty cross in there for Lee, again straight at the hands of Ryan Boot. Elliot Lee getting in amongst the action with his head. 
Elliot Lee is coming off the field of play and it's James Jones coming on Elliot Lee who is always instrumental for Wrexham from the middle of the park could have had a goal or two today as well but he uh, takes the round of applause offered by the Wrexham fans makes way for James Jones that clutch of players around about the penalty spot in comes the corner Howard under pressure but he does well to get a hand to it here's Howe to Maycock Maycock sends it towards the right hand side it's Barnett right towards Coker floated delivering the men over at the far post here and he's looped back cross and off the line for once I think Howard was beaten and it's Hayden that got really underneath his own bar to get it up and out somehow a looping header with Howard Beaton Hayden comes to the rescue but it could have been a different story had that looping header have gone in from the far post Howard at full stretch couldn't get there and Hayden underneath his own bar somehow got that up and over and out a lovely header from Joey Jones Young couldn't get away from that challenge of Sibolski and Sibolski's up to halfway now Has his ankles tapped there that's a free kick says Adrian Crouch the referee and Wrexham about to make another change well, first of all it's three minutes of stoppage time before we get the substitution completed how with a flick on around the corner is Found a teammate in space now as well. Fizzed in and it's gone in! Sibulski might claim it, but I think it's going to go down as a Howard own goal. It was fired in at that near post. Sibulski was closest to it. It's 2-1 and the Moors have got a goal back as we just enter three minutes of stoppage time. It was Howard with the initial flick around the corner. And the ball was fired in. Now just keep a cut. Yes, it's an own goal. Don't think Sibulski got a touch on that. Howard tried to block it, but he's gone to his own net as Howard sends it away downfield. Still we play. Palmer with the flick on. It's going to go through to Ryan Boot, who wastes no time. Referee checks his watch and blows the whistle. And Wrexham take the three points. They move to within two points now of Notts County at the top of the National League table, but Solihull Moors made them work every step of the way, really. But it's all about the celebrations as far as Phil Parkinson's side are concerned now as they move away towards the right-hand side in pale blue. Celebrating with young and old as 23 gets off to a winning start for Wrexham. And their fans have enjoyed it. And the skipper celebrating the three points there. Luke Young. And once again, it's very, very tight at the top of the National League table with just two points separating the top two sides. And Wrexham with the game in hand as things stand. As Phil Parkinson turns and makes his way for the dressing room. Paul Mullin celebrating with the fans as he turns and makes his way to the dressing room as well. He's taking his boots off as the uh, Wrexham number 10. He moves across there and somebody's going home with a souvenir or two. Mullin splits his pair of boots off from some of the younger fans and turns and jogs back to the dressing room 